It is time for another month of grocery hauls, clearance grocery hauls, Sam's Club, Costco, discount store. What does my family of six actually spend on groceries in an entire month? And before I show you all of the hauls, I did wanna tell you that I was feeling very proud of my progress. I had barely gone to the store at all. We were really using up what we have here in the house. And then, and then I went into Costco for one thing. And let me tell you what happens when you go into Costco for one thing. You come out with a hundred things. Everything at Costco is like $20. <laughs> At least that's how it feels. Like you're in there and you're like, oh, this is on sale. Oh, this is on sale. Oh, this is on sale. I just feel like it's a really dangerous place to go because when you see the deals, how do you walk away? I have always struggled with that. When there's a deal, I want to have it. <laughs> this is my third video in 2022 of what my family of six actually does spend on groceries for an entire month. I show you everything that we bought. This month, like I said, we were eating a lot of stuff out of the freezers. There's not actually a lot to see until you get to the Sam's Club and Costco haul, which happened on the 22nd of March. And it was more like a huge household stock up and long-term food storage stock up rather than meal planning. For example, tonight for dinner, I pulled out all my clearance nons out of the freezer. We're having clearance non pizza. We'll have some fruit on the side. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hit that thumbs up button and let's check out some hauls. It is March 2nd and welcome to the first grocery haul of March. This haul was $140, which seems like a lot, but I stocked up on some amazing deals for the freezer. Let me show you everything right now. I went to two stores, but they were both owned by Kroger today. I went to a Smith's and a Fred Meyer in the same town because the sales flyer just came out today and they had some great deals. And what do you know it when I walked in, they had clearance items as well. Huge container of croissants for $1.59. This was a great price, $1.97 a pound. So I got, what is this? nine pounds of ground beef to put in the freezer. I will not be using this right now. I will be freezing it and I do just stick it in there just like this. So I'll just throw that in a basket in the freezer and we're done. I noticed the chicken tenderloins, $1.99 a pound. So this whole package was under $4. I haven't bought chicken tenderloins in a really long time. I really like cooking with them, they're nice. And I felt like that was a decent price for these days. So two packages also for the freezer. And again, I'm not gonna do anything special to this. I'm just gonna dump it in the freezer, just like this. We were out of deli meat, so I grabbed two of these. These were not really on sale. Deli meat is expensive. I love to pick up these sausages whenever they are on sale, $2.69 for the smoked sausage. This can go in the freezer as well. And hello, ground bison. This is normally close to $10 and I saw this like great for chili and I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to make ground bison chili. Dave, what do you think? Oh yeah. $3.99 a pound, actually not a pound, it's just 12 ounces. For bison, these also in the freezer. So basically this whole section right there is all stock up for the freezer. Not these, I'm going to be using these with the croissants for sandwiches. Huge thanks to Built Bar for keeping me supplied with my daily treat slash candy bar slash protein bar. If you haven't tried the puffs, oh, they're my new favorite. I like the original ones too. They come in tons of different flavors. The coconut one's my favorite one, but the puffs are basically like floofy marshmallow coated in chocolate. Like the texture of this one, oh, <laughs> is so good. If you wanna go order some Bilt Bars, they are gonna give you a discount. First link down the doobly-doo. Code is frugalfitmom15 for 15% off your order. Make sure you follow their social media. They have like one day sales, limited time flavors and things like that. So thank you Bilt Bar for sponsoring. It's legit the best tasting candy bar with a whole lot of protein that I've ever had. Go try them out. Back to the hauls. Okay, another digital coupon deal. The organic milk was $1.97 each. I didn't need milk, but at that price for organic milk, I needed milk. So I got five, that was the limit. And if you'll notice these Best Buy dates are two months out. Why does this last so much longer than non-organic milk? I couldn't say, but this is gonna go in the fridge and with that kind of best buy date, we're gonna be good for a while. Very excited to see a clearance deal on eggs. $1.15 a dozen for the Eglin's Best. And I know it says large, but I feel like these are really, really big eggs. Nine dozen eggs here. This will definitely last us the entire month of March. I couldn't find cream cheese at many of my grocery stores in the last week, so when I saw this, 
at Smith's. I had to grab it. I got six of these for the fridge. These have a long expiration date also. This is like September 23rd. So I can put these in here and they'll be fine for a long time. I love Kashi cereal. So I got these Kashi chocolate super loops for $1.39 a box. Clearance pizza. This is dinner tonight. Usually when I do like long trips, I actually drove quite a while today to do other work, which is why I was able to go to a Smith's. So this $2.99 pizza along with the $1.99 rice cauliflower, and the $1.79 Avocado Ranch Chopped Kit is gonna be dinner tonight. Really quick, really easy, and dare I say it, delicious. Some rice cauliflower, these look really nice. Three of the Avocado Ranch Salad Kits, two red bell peppers, these were 99 cents each. A holy guacamole was on sale for $1.89. You can freeze this also. They had two pounds of organic carrots for 99 cents a bag, so I got two of these. If you've never done carrot fries in the air fryer, it will change your life. Strawberry prices are starting to come down $2 a pound, which is cheaper than most apples these days, honestly. So I got two pounds of strawberries. These will probably be gone by tomorrow. These apples were 99 cents a pound, so I got just a few apples. I have some left over from um, February, so I didn't need a ton right now. Although at a 99 cents a pound, I'll probably go back in a week and get more. Grapes were $1.29 ish a pound, if I remember right. Green grapes, Trump purple grapes. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. The potatoes, listen, if you have a Kroger owned store by you and you have not gotten the app and are you not using the digital coupons, go do it now. This was one of the digital coupon deals, the red potatoes and the yellow uh, gold potatoes were $1.97 for five pound bags. This is an excellent price for this variety. So I got three bags of that. Oh, and, and the milk was also a digital coupon. And this, this was a digital coupon. So you can really get some amazing savings if you get that app and download the digital coupons every week when they have their deals. So this is everything for $140. It doesn't look like a ton. I feel like it's a ton of stuff for $140. Like I have milk and eggs for the whole month, proteins for the whole month. In addition to what I already have in the freezer, I'm barely gonna make a dent at all. And hey, Easy dinner for tonight. Oh, my oven's ready for my pizza. Let's map this. Okay, this pizza is $3. This is $4, another $4. This is $11 for a family of six convenience dinner. Dude, you can't get that anywhere. I'll see you in a week. Hey, puppy girl. For those that are wondering, we do keep her on a house lead um, so, because she's a puppy. She just got groomed today. You wanna to show them your haircut? They said she did wonderful. She looks really skinny. It is March 11th and this is my grocery haul today from Fred Meyer. I ran in because I had some gas like fuel rewards and I wanted to use them before they expired. And there were a couple of great deals on the digital coupons with the app. So the Danimals were $1.97 each, normally close to $6. So I got five of these, the one that was five. The half gallon milk was 87 cents each. Limit of five, I got five of those as well. Our store was completely stocked up and I ran into this. Gold Natural Butter, $1.99 reduced, probably because it's close to the expiration date, just in a couple days, used by March 14th. But what's great about butter is you can freeze it and it lasts a whole lot longer than that. So all of these are gonna go in the freezer and I will be pulling from my stash of butter instead of paying the normal higher price than this for the next little while. Um, everything else was clearance stuff. I saw this Jarlsberg, do you pronounce the J on that? For $1.99, these are usually closer to four or $5. Two of those, they had some clearance out deli meat, which is perfect because I wanted to do sandwiches tomorrow for the weekend. These are half price. They're normally $8, 8 dollars 8 dollars and they marked it down to 409. The best buy date is still a few days from now, so I have the whole weekend to go through these. A Caesar salad kit, family size serving for $1.49. A couple of veggies here. I have another salad here, a couple of Brussels sprouts, and some green beans just for side dishes for the week. And I saw brats for $2.99, so I grabbed three of these. These can also go in the freezer and we can use these later. This is all I got today and I am still kind of working through what I have in my freezers as far as meal planning go. Obviously, I'll be going through like this kind of stuff fairly quickly for side dishes. Here's our milk for the next uh, week or so and as far as snacks go, guess what? The kids are getting Danimals. Today is March 22nd. I did a huge Costco and Sam's Club haul. I think that video is coming after this one but the amount of money that I spent on food 
mostly at Costco. This is why you shouldn't go to Costco. You just like go nuts is here. <laughs> and then let me show you what I grabbed for a video and then from the discount store. Okay, over here I have a video in the works. I was at Walmart and I saw all of these crazy pancake mixes inspired by breakfast cereals. I just don't know that we can honestly call these breakfast because they look like dessert, but I thought it'd be super fun to buy all of them and try them. So this was right at about $10 for these. Over here, I have my discount store haul for you. This was $1.50. Their bagels were 89 cents. I looked really, really carefully and did not see any mold or anything. So I think these are good. I have Bob's Red Mill quinoa flour for $2. I've never cooked with this, but there's some recipes on the back. I thought it would be fun to try. The peanut butter and company is one of my favorite peanut butters and they're normally $5 a jar. These are $2.09 a jar. Best buy date is not until 2023. So I don't know if they're just discontinuing discontinuing the flavor. I'm not sure because these look totally fine. The Lenny and Larry's cookies and the Gatorade bars are all for sports. The entire cookie, I've said this before, but it is a whopping 460 calories, which is amazing for hiking a mountain and going mountain biking for two hours. Ditto here, like it says it's a protein bar, but there are 41 grams of carbs in this bar. This bar is 350 calories. So don't be fooled by like the protein label. It does have protein, but it's not just protein. So a bar like this or a cookie like this are excellent for endurance sports, long 15 mile hikes, 20 mile mountain bike races or practices being out for a really, really long time. High calorie, easy to carry with you. It's kind of what I'm looking for here because we're gearing up for <gasps> outside mountain biking. This entire haul here was $22 and 81 cents. And that wraps up March 22nd. So I have about a week left in March and I thought I would go through the sales flyers. It's my favorite thing to do every week when the new sales flyers come out and see if there's any really good deals. This week, there's a couple things at Fred Meyer, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to make the trip this time. Uh, so locally, the only thing I really see are tomatoes are a good price, chicken thighs are a good price, like stock up price and asparagus is pretty good. I'm probably gonna run over like tonight or tomorrow, pick up some of those, probably some milk for the next week and get by on what I already have for the next week. So what we need to do is make sure we have a complete meal plan based on what we mostly have in the house. Tonight we're having pizza. Tyler over here is working on putting those together. I got out some chicken out of my freezer right here to thaw. It's like frozen solid right now. We're gonna do a chicken and rice casserole with some frozen veggies. I have a bunch of potatoes and some cream cheese, so I thought I would do a copycat Panera baked potato soup. And I thought I could do like a chicken tortilla soup. And when I was downstairs looking at my food storage, I noticed a lot of my canned tomato products for my garden from last year. I know spring is coming, but here in Idaho, it's still very chilly, so I'm thinking a big pot of chili to combat those chilly evenings is going to be about perfect. Now, all of those ideas combined with a leftover night, it would be so easy to take the chicken I purchased at the grocery store like tonight or tomorrow, do some barbecue sauce, a dry rub, do some grilling, whatever veggies I still have. I have a bunch of carrots. I could do carrot fries, um, some fresh fruit, some canned fruit, the rest of my frozen veggies, just kind of clear everything out. It's just so easy to like put everything together. And my family's never complained about barbecue chicken, like, Ever. So I should probably have Dave go out and make sure my grill is like good to go. So that is my meal plan for the last week of March. I will have one more tiny little grocery haul coming up for you right now. Good morning, friends. It's March 25th. We are headed in to the grocery store to pick up my last grocery haul for the month. Wow. Wow. <laughs> some produce, some chicken, um, probably some milk. I think I have enough of everything else. I still have eggs, obviously I have butter, still have some bread, no problem. My kids are still eating the Dollar Tree Doug Guru cereal. <laughs> I grabbed from that earlier video. They can do some carnation breakfast with the milk and the bananas, <laughs> plenty of food hanging out. So we're just going to go in here, just a few little things mostly some produce because I feel like we should probably make a salad, like have some health and fitness up in here. So come in with me. And I spent a whopping $10 and 63 
cents, two gallons of milk, two pounds of asparagus, and two large slicing tomatoes for the last week of March. Here's my tiny, tiny little haul. I had to sit back here so I had a no sun glare in my face. <laughs> We've got inflation 2022, so I'm sitting at $477 for the month and I feel like I got a ton of stuff, like an absolute ton of food. Over my traditional $400 a month-ish self-imposed budget, definitely gonna go scan my receipt today with Fetch Rewards because you don't have to buy anything special, you just scan it and they give you points all willy-nilly. And then I like to redeem those for Amazon gift cards, hotels.com gift cards, you can redeem for Airbnb gift cards and like pay for some of your travel that way if you wanna do that. I do always have a link for like Ibotta, Fetch Rewards down in the description box if you've never signed up before. I've been using both for a really, really long time. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me this month and I'll see you next month as well, bye.